Are you tired of boring static text in your videos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five easy text effects that you guys can use inside After Effects that will make your text pop. All of them require no plugins and there will be a text animations pack for free down below with the code that I will release at the end of the video. So make sure you guys just watch at the end. All right, let's go. So the first text effect I'm gonna be showing you guys is this really cool retro stylistic type of text. So the first thing we're gonna do obviously is right click, click new, put in our text. In this case, we're just gonna put text. For the font, we're gonna be using Stora. I'll be leaving all these fonts down below if you guys wanna use the same exact ones. What we're gonna do is make it have that retro like scribble animation look. And to make that, we're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're going to type in turbulence displays if i can spell it correctly there it is just like that and just store we're going to grab turbulence displays put it onto our layer for the amount we're going to do five and then for the size we're going to do a 50. we're going to go over to the evolution and we're going to hold down alt and click on this little stopwatch and what that will do is it will open up the expression down here all you have to type in is time and then put that little star thingamajig, whatever it's called. Um, and then we're gonna put 1000. And if you just copy this perfectly and then click out of it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up to our effects and presets and put on a second one. For the amount, we're gonna do five. And then for the size, we're gonna do 25. And then we're gonna repeat the process of clicking Alt on the evolution. Click it, type in time with the little starry majig. And we're gonna type in 450 this time. And guess what? We're going to be putting a third one on. So we're going to grab display turbulence displays for a third time. And for this one, for the amount, we're going to do 20. And then for the size, we're going to do 10. Hold down alt on the evolution. And we're going to type in time with this thingamajig. And we're going to do 400. And then you just click out of it. And if you play it back, you can see how it has this wiggliness to it. Dude, we're going to go up to effects presets and we're going to put on posterized time. So we're going to type in poster and then we're going to find posterized time. Put this on our layer and then we're going to change the frame rate to 10. So we're going to go up to effects and presets, type in fill, drag on the fill. In this case, for the retro text, I feel like a light yellow or burnt orange is kind of like the way you kind of want to make this text. We're just going to go to yellow and put it up into here. So it's a really light text. We're going to be making the drop shadows. So we're going to go onto our layer, type in drop shadow, pretty simple. Grab the drop shadow, put it on, and then we're going to change the opacity to 100, the distance to 16, and then we're going to change the shadow color to orange. Next thing is we're gonna grab drop shadow again, put it on, then we're gonna change this to red, put the opacity to 100, and then put the distance to 12. And we're gonna go up to effects presets, grab drop shadow again. For this one, opacity 100, shadow color, we're gonna go up to here and put it to a purple, and then the distance, we're gonna be putting 10. We get this really cool retro looking text. We're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna type in add, grain we're gonna grab the grain put it onto our layer and then we're gonna change the viewing mode to final output the preset or the grain preset you guys can obviously play around with what grain preset you guys honestly really like we're gonna give this a little bit more of a depth so we're gonna right click go up to layer styles and we're gonna click on bevel and emboss down here in layer styles we're gonna open up the bevel and emboss and really the only thing we're gonna change is the size and we're gonna put the size to 19. And as you can see, what this does is it kind of gives it more depth. It almost looks like a 3D type of text. Now, when you play it back, as you can see, it has the cool scribble animation and it has that really cool retro text. And from here, you can add it to any title or video that you want. And from here, we're gonna move on to the second text effect. A really quick transition. If you guys wanna create really insane Chrome text inside After Effects, just release a Chrome text template over on my store that will let you create different styles of Chrome typography. They're really easy to drag and drop in and customize however you guys Guys want and can even turn any logo chrome also so if you guys want to step up your text game the link will be down below in the description if you guys want to go check them out the next text effect i'm going to show you guys is this really cool echo effect i'm going to be showing you guys two different versions so for the first one i can get back i don't know how jesus uh that one yeah to make this echo effect we need to have the text animated so i'm going to be using one of the animations from my free text animations pack which will be free with the code at the end of the video so make sure you guys watch to the end of the video in this case we're just going to use a uh, slide up and fall off obviously as you can see this is what it looks like we're going to click on the layer and click Control d to duplicate the layer and on the bottom one we're going to go up to effects and presets and we're going to type in echo grab the echo from the time and then put it on the bottom layer for a number of echoes we're going to do 15 and then for the decay we're going to put this to 0.61 
for the echo operator we're gonna put on composite in front if you just want to keep it white obviously that is about as simple as it gets but if you guys want to take it to the next level is what you can do is you can turn off the top one and then we go up to effects and presets and this is where you can put on like any type of gradient you want we're gonna be using four color gradient put the four color gradient on we're just gonna change this that color so it's the same same but different i would add in a glow and in this case i'm gonna be using deep glow so i'm gonna click on deep glow once you have the, your colors and glow you can turn on the top layer and then once you play it back a Picasso. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the second echo effect. Click on the layer, double click, make sure it's all highlighted. And if you just click on this little thing right here, which first says no fill color, it'll just change it to just the fill. Right here is the stroke width. We're gonna change this to four. We're gonna animate this text. We're gonna click S to open it up. And for the start, we wanna have it kind of small. And then we're gonna go about one second. And then we're gonna put this to, let's say, 115. And we'll make it bigger. Bigger to better. We're gonna easy ease these keyframes frames and then go into our graph and right now i'm in speed graph we're gonna click on this hold shift bring these both to the middle and what it does it just makes this really high mountain peak we play it back as you can see it makes just a really simple animation from here we can turn on motion blur is we're gonna click on this layer Control d to duplicate on the bottom layer we're gonna go up to effects presets type in echo grab the good old echo put it on the bottom from here we're gonna put number of echoes we're gonna put 20 and then for the dk we're gonna put 0.9 and then for the operator we're gonna put this to screen and now if we play it back we get this really cool echo back to use right click put adjustment layer and then we can put on whatever glow you have on the bottom one we can do the same thing we did on the last one where we put like a gradient ramp and for this one we can use just a regular gradient ramp in this case we can do the same thing like pink and blue and then all we gotta do is for like the ramp we just put this closer and that's pretty much how you make the second echo effect from here you guys can play around with the echo you can put more echoes if you guys want if your if your pc can handle it of course all right so from here we're gonna move on to the next text effect so the next text effect i'm gonna be showing you guys is this really cool typography first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this text on the bottom one what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it up so we can see it what we're gonna be doing is going up to the shape tool or the rectangle tool in this case and right in the middle of it, we're just gonna click and drag so we cut just the bottom half of it. Once you double click on it, we're gonna go over to the stroke icon, click on it, and then put it to white. We're gonna click on the fill color, and then we're just gonna click on no fill. So we just have the good old stroke and make sure the stroke is around four. All you have to do is click M and then F or mother but We're gonna change the feather to 19. We're gonna grab it and we're gonna bring it below the top text to kind of give it that shadow look that it's kind of like almost 3d looking on the bottom layer we're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna type in reptile right here under stylized cc reptile right here we're gonna grab it drag it onto the bottom layer right on the beginning we're just gonna make sure that we have a keyframe on the expand down at zero click u to open it and then we're gonna go ahead to right around one second and then we're gonna put this to 425 and as you can see all it's doing is just making more of them highlight these easy ease them go into our graph and you can do this in speed or value here i can do it in value we just click on this hold shift drag this one to the left to the left and we're just going to turn on motion blur from here we're going to click on it right click pre-compose move all attributes into the new composition so once you're inside this comp, we're gonna right click new adjustment layer, go up to the good old effects and presets and type in a gradient ramp here, put it onto the layer. And then all we're gonna do really is just change this to white and then the bottom one to black. Inside here, you guys can play around with any color you guys want. Honestly, low key though, blue kinda, kinda hidden. I don't think I'm gonna use blue actually. So it has this really just cool faded white and blue. Inside here in this adjustment layer, you guys can add in your favorite glow. Once you have your glow and gradient ramp we can go back to the main composition we're going to be animating this top text now so to do that we're just going to turn the bottom one off just so we have a clean palette we're going to click s to open up scale put a keyframe there and in this case we're going to put five for the scale at the beginning and then we're going to go ahead in the timeline quite a bit and then put this to 125 and then we're gonna go ahead shortly after and put it back to the original value we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight these these nuts click on easy ease go into the graph 
and we're gonna go to speed graph and in this case we're just gonna hold shift drag this one over drag this one over and then right here, this one, we're gonna drag them both halfway in. Just try to copy what I did right here. Click on the old good old motion blur. And if you play it back, it is a simple text animation. This is where we want to have the bottom text come in right in between this. So all we have to do is click on the bottom layer, turn it back on, of course. And then we're just gonna drag this over to right in the middle of this top layer. And if we play it back, we have this really cool typography when it comes in it is kind of slow so if you want it quicker obviously you just got to come into this composition click on the actual text layer click u to open this up and then just grab this keyframe bring it over closer so it goes quicker and we get this really cool typography pretty cool effect and now we're just gonna move on to the last effect so the next text effect i'm gonna show you guys is this really cool track mat technique where you can put any background overlay anything you want on the text. I explained that horribly, but I'm, let me just show you. So now that we have our text all set up and now we just wanna have the text have any type of like texture or background or overlay just on the text alone. All you gotta do is take it and put it below the text layer. And in this case, we're gonna be using one of these text backgrounds or text effects that I created that will be down below on my store. If you guys wanna go check them out. It's this really cool warpy blue liquid. And we just want this just to be on the text alone so all we have to do is make sure the text layer is on and then all we have to do is make sure go down to toggle switches make it have the track mat click on the track mat and put it to text as you can see now we have this really cool liquid on the text from here if you guys want to adjust all you got to do is just simply adjust the background however you want as you can see it is only going to be on just the text and that is how simple this effect can be you guys can add in anything you would like behind it, it could be a video it could be overlay a background so instead of looking for cool text effects, actually, you can just find really cool backgrounds or anything you like and put it onto the text if you guys want. For the fifth text effect, I'm going to show you guys this really cool stretchy liquid type of text. I think it's really cool and I wanted to show you guys how you guys can do it. Also, we're going to right click new adjustment layer and then we're going to go up to effects and presets and we're going to type in CC scale wipe. We're going to grab the old scale white, put it on the adjustment layer, go down to direction, put this to 180. What we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the stretch. So we're going to click on the old icon, click you to bring it up. And then we're going to go about three seconds and put this to 12. As you can see already, it is starting to stretch the bottom of the text. It's kind of almost like a, like a liquid type of like dripping. Next thing we are going to do is go up to effects and presets. And now we're going to type in smear. And we're going to grab the CC smear, put it on the same adjustment layer. We're going to be changing the radius to 285. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the from. We're going to drag this down below the text. And as you can see, it's starting to get a little crazy out here. But we're going to put it right below here, somewhere in there. And we're going to grab the second one and put it over here. And as you can see, it starts to make this kind of almost like a 3D as it's dripping to like the floor and then it kind of falls off like a waterfall. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, click new adjustment layer. We're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna type in turbulence displace. We're gonna grab the old turbulence displace right there, put it on the new adjustment layer. We're gonna change the amount to 25 and then we're gonna alt click on the evolution and we're just gonna type in time with the star of 50 and just copy that down click out of it and it just makes it have like this like liquid type of animation i would recommend more of a bubbly font i probably should have made it more bubbly but in this case we're just gonna be using this font next thing we're gonna do is go up to effects and presets and we're gonna put on add grain all add grain is doing is it kind of gives it that kind of retro aesthetic look i'm gonna change the viewing mode to final output preset you guys can play around with any preset you guys think looks good for most text effects you kind of need to have some sort of glow if you guys want in this case we're going to be using deep glow which is my favorite glow if you want to stylize it a little bit more you go to the text and we what we can do is we can add some color to this so if you put like a gradient ramp uh, we grab the gradient ramp put it on the text layer and then we kind of go to where it's kind of more stretched out we can change the top one to let's do the top one to white and then the bottom one to blue so it has a cool fade to it and then from here we can just move the white down so it starts off more white and then honestly in this case we kind of almost want to bring the blue up next thing is we're going to click on the text layer 
and control D, the bottom one. What we can do is we can actually delete the gradient ramp and we can type in fill, put a fill on it. And if you guys want to see this, all you guys do is just turn off the top one. And now we just have this. And in this case, because we're using white and blue, actually we're going to put this to pink. It's a good contrast to the blue. Now we turn this back on. You're like, wow, I don't see anything. Well, the next effect that you guys can add is called liquify. We're going to grab the liquify, put it on the bottom text layer. You guys can play around with the brush size and brush pressure and then click on the top left one right here. And now if we go up to our text and we click and drag, it creates this really cool kind of like outer part of the text and you can do this wherever you guys want give it a little bit there a little bit here from here honestly i think pink doesn't look too good i think if we use like a dark blue it looks a little bit better so that brings us to the end of the video if you guys want to see five more text effects maybe including plugins that are even more crazy make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye -bye.